Okay, so here's the problem. We have our uh, one ball, five kilograms, moving at 10 meters per second. It's going to collide with the second ball of four at rest. After the collision, they're both going to go off at angles. We're looking for the final velocity of each. So we'll call that V5. We'll call this V4. Okay, now there's actually multiple ways to solve this problem, so I'm going to show you one method. Um, as usual, we do want to break down these velocities, right? So this one you could call it V5x. This one you can call it V5y. Okay? And, vice, and also the same thing here. So V4x and V4y. Notice here at this point we do have four unknowns. Okay, that's not always a good thing when you have four unknowns. So let's see if we can already minimize a couple of our unknowns right off the bat. So even though we don't know V5x, we know a little bit about V5x. What's an expression we can write for V5x? V5 cosine of 34. Right. So for V5x, I'm, I'm kind of out of space here. I'm just going to write it here. So V5x, this is the hypotenuse here, or not hypotenuse, the adjacent side. We could write that as V5 cosine of 34. Okay, and so hopefully at this point you can see, all right, we can do the same with V5y. We can write V5y is V5 sine of 34. So notice by doing that we've just taken out two of our unknowns and we only have one unknown now. Okay, we've eliminated one. And we'll do the same thing with the uh, ball four. So V4x, this is the adjacent side. That's going to be V4 cosine 41, V4y, we're going to write that expression is V4 sine 41. Now I just want to point out, you do want to make sure you recognize that this one is going up and this one is going down. So at some point in the problem you have to make that distinction between these two whether calling this positive and this negative, that's usually the way to go. But just make sure you notice that. Okay, let's just start solving this. So P initial in the X direction, um, that's going to be just this one. This one's not moving, right? So the 5, so we'll just write 5 times 10. So this one has an initial X momentum of 50. Now P final in the X direction, <laughs> Um, so this is going to be, and let's write it out. So this would be m5 v5x plus m4 v4x. All right, and then I'm just going to write the, instead of leaving this as two unknowns, if we make the substitution now, we can, uh, um, well, sorry, instead of having four unknowns, ultimately we'll end up with only two unknowns. So M5, this is going to be 5 times V5X. This is V5 cosine 34 plus 4 times V4 cosine of 41. Okay, so that's our first, un uh, first equation. We still have two unknowns, but what do we do when we have two unknowns? try to get a second equation, right? And in this case, it's really clear where our second equation is going to come from, from the y side, right? Uh, I would suggest, I mean, you could leave this all like this. Uh, you might want to just do the, some of the math here. So for example, what's 5 cosine 34? 5 cosine 34. Did you say 1, 5? And what's 4 cosine 41? Zero 02? Okay, so that's your first kind of equation, right? Yeah. Since the y is 0, like, since that's the only thing that matters, like, since that is 50, that's 
Oh, and just to add up your V5s, yeah, I mean, that would work in this case because it happens to be zero. Yeah. Just make sure that one is positive and one is negative so that they cancel each other out. Um, okay, let's do the, let's do the uh, Y side. So again, P initial Y equals P final Y. So our P initial is zero, and why is it zero? There's only horizontal motion, right? There's no vertical motion uh, whatsoever. In fact, maybe you would notice this, that the P5Y <coughs> has to equal P4Y. Those two have to be equal to each other, right? One's going up and one's going down. So anyways, if we write this out, we get P5Y plus P4Y. Okay, I'm just going to jump a step here. So let's just do the math. So this is going to be 5. And again, we're going to use the expression for V5Y. So it's going to be V5 sine of 34. And again, at this point, you have to somehow recognize that this is going down. So I'm just going to write minus 4 V4 sine of 41. All right, let's just go ahead and solve for something at this point. So this would be V4 if you do the algebra. 5 sine 34 divided by 4 sine 41. All of that by V5. Okay, I would suggest just kind of doing the math here. So it's going to be about 1. What's the answer? You guys are going to make me do it. <laughs> no one has confidence in their solution. 5 sine 34 divided by 4. Don't forget to parenthesize that. Sine 41. 1.0. Six five. Okay, make the substitution. We're going to throw V four way up here. Okay, so I'm pulling this down here. So we're going to have 50 equals 4.15 V5 plus 3.02 times 1.065 V5. Okay, pull out your V5. 4.15 plus 3.02 times 1.065 whatever this mess is seven point three three seven divide by that Six point seven nine. Okay. Finally, solve for your V four. So one point oh six five times six point seven nine.